how long should rest periods be and how do they impact muscle growth? Well, a recent meta-analysis set out to answer this very question and here's what they found. If you've spent any time on social media, you may have come across claims like resting for one minute or less impairs hypertrophy or resting for less than one minute between sets is suboptimal for muscle growth. Now, when I saw these posts, I was honestly a little puzzled. After all, don't shorter rest periods work well when training with lighter loads? And could shorter rest intervals actually be beneficial in this context? Now consider this, techniques such as low load training and low load training with blood flow restriction and even banded exercises aim to maximize the effects of metabolic byproducts from muscle contractions. These methods rely on metabolite induced fatigue, which can increase motor unit recruitment during an exercise. And with lighter loads, shorter rest periods can optimize this metabolic environment, potentially allowing for similar muscle growth with less overall training volume. So why did Singer and colleagues, a recent 2024 publication reach a different conclusion? And why is there so much content on social media cautioning against short rest periods? Well, the answer lies in the study's methodology. The authors of this study did not account for training load. The meta-analysis included nine studies in total, two of which examined rest periods in the context of lower load training. Not surprisingly, neither of these two studies found a benefit of longer rest periods when using lighter weights. Overall, the meta-analyses suggest a small benefit to longer versus shorter interset rest intervals for muscle hypertrophy. However, this message has been exaggerated on social media. So what's the takeaway from this paper? Well, rest period recommendations should consider both the training load and the type of exercise being performed. For example, simple machine movements with lighter loads can benefit from shorter rest periods, while heavier complex movements like squats or deadlifts, anything above 70% of a one rep max, may require longer rest intervals for optimal results. For a detailed breakdown of this recent meta-analyses, check out this month's issue of Be A Brain. Each month you'll get breakdowns of the most exciting and relevant research in resistance training, health and nutrition. Each issue is delivered to you as a monthly digital print subscription, along with a convenient audio recording for those who prefer to listen on the go. Be A Brain aims to provide a simple interpretation of the latest research with clear summaries, easy to understand takeaways and key points that you can turn into action regarding your own training and nutrition. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.